In the bottom center, we have our Protoss winning that first game. He is. Gene Air Green Wings SOS. <laughs> and here in the upper right, our only Terran today. Samsung Galaxy Khan Reality. Reality. Had to face the harsh reality of Mortal Push last game. Yeah, yeah we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll put it back together again. Um, <clears throat> thank you to our sponsors, Hot Six, and going into this game, um, I think Reality did play very well back there, but yeah. SOS just got um, a little bit of momentum, and <laughs> even though Reality survived the attack, that was a tough one to survive, by the way, yeah. with the War Prism in the back of the base, and uh, even the way the Terrence barracks happened to be set up in the front, I mean, the, it was hard for the Marines to run back to the front and then run to the uh, mineral line. Um, he survived it, but I mean, SOS knew exactly the only way that Reality could win from there, which was a drop. Exactly. And then he was just able to prepare. He knew medevacs were starting to bank up a little bit, and once uh, once that starts to happen, you're you know very wise to move back, because if suddenly four medevacs get out of the main base and come around and trap your army between the Terran's main and the retreat path there at the natural, and you get sandwiched and you might end up losing the game before you can really make advantage of that economy that you've been building for so long after denying the Terran's natural, so. Well, the uh, gateway is going to finish up here. We have yep. the orbital starting now, uh, and the Reaper build, it's same as last time. Yeah, it's basically starting things <coughs> off exactly the same here. Uh, the most common, the most standard build in this matchup. We have seen, like, a few Terrans recently, um, Byung especially, going into Marines instead, saving that gas for other things, going into faster drops, but that is the safest way to play, especially when you're playing against a player who's favored against you, and who just all in you, essentially as well. Well, um, we're going to have that command center go down here now. And then it's going to be a reactor here. Hey, he pulled out a gas, actually. So he's yeah. he's just going to get just enough money for a, a, a Reaper and a reactor. And they get the extra minerals because he's not going to need gas for a while. Actually, puts back in, though. <laughs> just pulled out just to get a faster CC. And, um, you know, from here, there's a lot of... Um, Again, different builds Reality can do. Um, we saw Reality go for a pretty middle-of-the-road build back there, just getting uh, the Marines Marauders up and then getting the medevacs out as quick as possible. It was punished by SOS, although a part of that punishment from SOS was hitting that entrance uh, from an angle that Terran was not prepared to engage with. Yeah. I think on this map, such a build is much less likely since both players are more experienced. Although yeah. SOS, I, I see probably one of the hardest players to predict how he plays. True. Um, also on this map, if you want to attack with a, such an attack, you have to attack into a natural where your opponent has high ground and there's not that berth you were talking about. Yeah. So you can't really just avoid the bunkers there. You're going to be attacking very head on. Do you see your robotics coming up here again, but very unlikely it's for immortals. Most likely will be for an observer coming out and, uh, you know, just transitioning into normal play, taking a third base eventually after Colossi. Maybe even adding a forge as well. More like we've seen SOS play in the past. Uh, triple barracks here. Yeah, no quick factory. Well, I think this is an understandable alteration of um, the reality he's built based off the experience he had in the last game. Um, he wants to get a lot of presence just on the ground here in case uh, SOS does throw something at him again. And we got to see where this robotics facility uh, brings the Protoss because. This could be dangerous for this go. Oh! oh my god. Oh my god. Did you see the blood on that gun? It looks nasty. That was man. nasty. That was rough, man. The nastiest part is you didn't really get any additional scouting information from that either. That is the grossest part by far. Uh, he has his first observer out, so it doesn't look like he's going to be pumping immortals here, at least nope. not for the time being. He's going to go. Now, he does see the, uh, the. Now, he should have seen the observer. If he was hovering right over that, he would see that this is not the immortal. Um, push. He might have not seen that. We do see pro gamers when things are going so fast, they're not hovering over that one spot. Yeah. Uh, I think he probably did notice. Um, on this map, the immortal push is so unlikely. It's so hard to make work uh, that I don't think he'll expect it. He is getting his factory up now. We'll be able to get medevac soon as well, but the triple barracks you were talking about earlier is also, as you mentioned, it's safe against uh, an early attack, but also allows them some early pressure too. So I think he's going to try to come over here maybe 
and force the Nexus Cannon out. And that Robotic Support Bay is going to give him Colossi to take his third, but before that's ready, he might be able to do a little poking. It's up to him to decide if he wants to commit to that or not. I think we're going to see the Gateway Explosion coming up here for Protoss. Yes, looks that way. That probe's just waiting for the money. And the Observer does come up now. Sees the factory, and this is actually all he needs to see is the timing on the factory and the starport to have a pretty good idea of uh, the pacing at which the rest of this game should uh, go. There are the other gateways. We have Thermal Ants now starting, and notice he is still uh, back to making lots of probes. There's a 10 probe lead actually here, um, and he's going to continue that with that lead because he says, Well, Terrence probably not going to push out until medevacs are in play. Yeah, they're he, not in play yet. Exactly. If he was uh, going to attack, he would have moved out already to pressure, right? Oh my so. god. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying to think of like what is solid snake? Sneaking yeah, probe? Basically. That was. He was like under a that cardboard was, box, man. That was, yeah, he was in his cardboard box. How did Snake run so fast in that cardboard box, by I, the way? I guess. Have you seen training, how fast man. he moved in the box? Years of training, it has to be. I was never good at using the box. I'd like hide in the box and they just come up and like kick over the box. I'm like, oh! Yeah, I guess I'm, I can't put the box in the middle of the floor. I'm actually like, at the part right now in the first game where you. you oh, yeah, you're playing this right now, right? Yeah, yeah I forgot about I'm this. I'm at the box part, man. It's hard. Oh. Okay, so the Zealot uh, does chase it out. Now, seeing the pylon there is a. A little bit uh, concerning. You're thinking, all right, is he actually going to rush me? Looks like uh, Terran's confident he's not. In fact, reality, um, are Terran going to go ahead and attack in here? It looks like to the front, or at least supply some pressure. Now, SOS looks like he's going to move out to meet this. He's got to be careful because reality can pick up and go into the main. So let's see exactly. SOS is so what? confident here. He's like, yeah, the I'm the entire army. And he's like, no, it's just Marines. I'll fight this straight up in the middle of the map. Like, oh my he's god. He's not using defensive force fields. He's going to trap that army. He's so confident. Now, as I was saying, the two medevacs can go into the main. Yeah, I don't I mean, think he actually has any units in there, does he? Yeah, am I, am I not seeing something? No, no, he has stalkers, I think. He just warped something in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hello. God, SOS is playing this so well. He's like, no, I'll just fight you, man. Yeah, I, 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 I got to say, I really thought he was going to back up and then. It, no, I, I guess that was all too predictable. He's like, well, I'll just make stalkers and the uh, medevacs will feed into this. Thermal Ants is done, so he can poke here, which is actually very annoying because uh, although the, he got a lot of Marines out here early, the medevacs were a little bit later. Um, so the, every time these uh, Marines and Marauders get hit, they, they're not really healing up. Yeah. Taking a third base It's like now. an old school like siege push here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We um, don't see stuff like this anymore. Yeah, really. it's actually quite uncommon. Normally, uh, we see when Colossi and Marines and Martyrs engage, it's just an all-out fight. But here, he's actually poking in and then walking away. By the way, Blink almost done here. We're about to have the reinforcements meet back up. Still a small Terran squad out here in the middle of the map. Uh, getting pushed away. I'm really wondering if he's going to have another pickup into the main. The uh, third base for Protoss is, is starting, so... Uh, that is one thing Reality can use to try to scare SOS into not attacking him. But for the time being, I'm trying to figure out what exactly is Reality going to do to, to do his own little catch up on his side of the map, you know? Yeah, uh, that's what he has to figure out right now because he's down in almost every way right now. He has a big uh, power up of barracks here that he's producing three Marauders at a time with. But, uh, I mean, I just don't know, man. This is a really tough situation. He doesn't have a third base landed yet. He's moving that over now. His worker oh, count man. is decent, but this drop, let's see how much this gets done. But this guy actually already, it's already starting to do a decent amount. It's going to even up the worker count here. This oh, gets out. Oh, it's going to get this oh. man back! Nice. Oh my god, and excellent observing. That went into the booth. Yeah, That went into the soundproof booth on this map. How on Merry Go Round. Happen, man? <laughs> I've never seen it before. <laughs> um, well, again, that's another big loss there. Again, we had a later medevac count with an earlier Colossus count. Um, so. Keep in mind, it's a, basically what I'm saying is if Terran gets the medevacs later and Protoss starts up the Colossi earlier, then it's a real balancing act between Vikings and medevacs for Terran. Yeah. And losing that extra medevac means that the overall damage output from the Colossi, even with the Vikings being out to fight them, the damage output they have before the Colossi are presumably killed is so high, sometimes the Protoss just wins the fight. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's what we might be about to see here. He's almost 20 armies supply up with uh, the killing on that medevac. The worker count is even, so I think SOS is like, I lost a lot of probes there, and you've got the third base. I think I do need to come out here and make something happen. Um, you know, he's worried about drops, but he's still, regardless, going to continue the attack. 
Uh, he feels comfortable enough here to move across, and he has a massive stalker count with uh, a lot of Colossi. And that balancing act you were talking about, there's not quite enough Vikings for five Colossi, and yeah. there's certainly not enough medevacs for this army. Yeah, um, he has the Observer right over that, and if I'm SOS, I'd say it's time to move in. He's got a continued good number of stalkers. I think there's enough force fields here that he can make this very, very difficult uh, for the Terran to come out on top of, and he's going to keep pushing forward here. Guardian Shield goes up. Yep, and here comes the engagement. He's got so many Colossi here. The Vikings are evaporating to the Stalkers. He's also just fighting the ground army. Good force heals to lock out those SCVs. And this is a slaughter here. Yeah, this uh, actually might be game here. Uh, again, another an more great force field there. Look at that complete arc. Uh, and as that goes down, what's left? SCVs, I believe a Viking. More than enough Stalkers. I think even if it was just the Stalkers here, this would be too much for the Terran to deal with. Um, and this is going to be a 2-0 lead here. Uh, SOS moving on here to the winner's match. And this is also a smart move, going right up into the main. This is how you end it out. GG. GG. Nicely done there by SOS. SOS just outclassing. Plays a straight yeah. up macro game in game two, and aggressive timing in game one, showing two different ways to beat a Terran. Really nicely done. I think going from the first build order into the second, it was really tough for reality to get any uh, stronghold on the situation. And that's GG. I mean, reality, um, he's still got a shot to get out of this. Keep in mind, it's only Protoss. This is definitely the best one to warm up against. Yeah. Uh, but he will be in the loser's match here. That's true. And only if SOS uh, actually loses in the winner's match will they possibly meet again. So for SOS, now he can just turn his brain off of Terran. Start thinking about PvPs yeah. most likely. Yeah, a very high chance it's just going to be um, a PvP from here. We're going to go to a short break. When we come back, we're going to be having our first PvP today here in part one of today's GSM.